Many consider Kentucky the only place for good bourbon. We believe there is good bourbon all across the USA. Can bourbon from another state compete with the best of Kentucky? In this new series, we find out if our belief is true. We put a Kentucky bourbon up against a similar one from another state. We will taste and rank both, but only one will win. Let the battle begin. This is Versus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. My name is Arthur. And I'm Scott, and this is Artfully Bourbon. Today's versus battle is Still Austin Single Barrel Castring from the Still Austin Whiskey Company, and you guessed it, Austin, Texas. Versus Elijah Craig Single Barrel Barrel Proof from the Elijah Craig Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. Before we taste, here are the rules. We'll blind taste both bourbons in Glen Cairns. Then we're gonna rate each one from one to 10. 10 being the best thing that we have ever tasted, five being a good to average bourbon, and one being something that basically we would never touch again. Our ratings will be based on the experience of aroma and taste. Scott, tell us about the old Kentucky bourbon. So our Kentucky bourbon is the Elijah Craig single barrel barrel proof. This one is an eight year old private barrel selection. So it's going to be slightly different than the distillery standard 12 year Elijah Craig barrel proofs. This bottle is uncut straight from the barrel and it comes in at a beautiful whopping 122.1 proof. Woo. We picked this one up for 80 bucks. All right, and it's competition today is the Still Austin Single Barrel Cast Strength. This one comes from Texas and is made up of 70% Texas corn, 25% Texas rye, and 5% Texas malted barley. The bottle says it's aged at least two years. It's a little concerning, but it's still 116 proof and like Elijah Craig, $80 but I do like the bottle artwork and design. It is nice. The dark starry night is really cool. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Glass A. Glass A. The aroma. Cinnamon, a little vanilla. Yeah, some, some fruit, some cherries, definitely cherries. Yeah. yeah, maybe a little citrus. Okay, I get a little mint. Do you get that? Yeah, a little bit. It smells really yummy. Yeah, it has a really unique nose. Mm -hmm. Let's taste. Let's taste. I get a little bit more caramel and butterscotch in the, in the taste. Yeah, caramel, a little cinnamon. Yeah, I get the cinnamon and fruit from the nose. Yeah, it's almost, almost like a candy. Yeah, the cinnamon toast that I get on the nose kind of turns into a little bit of a peach pie. I still get a little of that like red fruit as well. Yeah, I, I really like the spice on the end. Um, it's like some of those pie spices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. This is really good. Yeah, okay. Let's All go right. glass bean. All right, aroma. Getting the caramel. A little bit of oak. I get lots of fruit. It's fruity. Yeah, I do get a little apple. You know, maybe like kind of some orange, orange flavors. It has a really nice, it, it's really nice aroma. Yeah, it does. Let's I taste like it. One. All right, cheers. Mmm, that's really nice. This one's pretty like caramel forward. Yeah. I'll say. For sure. Yep, caramel and like a butterscotch toffee yeah. for me. Yeah, did you get any like fruit in there? Not really. I, I lose a little bit of it, a little bit of that from the nose. Yeah. Uh, it's it's subtle though, I think. Yeah. I do get a little more of that cinnamon on the back end though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a few other like spices lingers a little bit. Yeah, I, I like it. Okay, let's rate these. Let's start with glass A. What number did you give this one? 
Okay, so I gave Glass A an eight. Nice. It just had, you know, very simple aroma notes. Um, no big deal. Um, but the flavor and intensity just like really ramped up. Um, and it had a lot of surprises on the taste. Uh, and, and definitely the finish. Um, it just, it left me really like wanting to go back for more. Sounds delicious. I gave it a six. I love the simple but strong nose on this one. It's definitely cinnamon forward, but I got a lot of fruit notes as well. Almost like a warm cinnamon and peach pie, a spicy one. It made my tongue tingle. Uh, it's really good, but it also you know has a little bit of a younger feel to it. So six it is. Okay, so that means that Glass A gets an average rating of seven. Let's see how Glass B compares. All right, Glass B, I give a seven. Uh, the nose is really pretty subtle, but the taste has lots of sweet caramel notes. Almost like a caramel apple if it was drowning in caramel. <laughs> it reminds me of fall. I found the finish on this one really smooth and enjoyable. Glass B, I gave a an eight. Nice. Yeah, I'm just like a huge fan of like the sweet dessert notes. This one is just like really nice, complex bourbon. Uh, just has a sweet definition to it. Then it kind of transitions to more oak, but it's definitely not like overpowering by any means. That gives Glass B a combined score of 7.5. All right, let's see which bottle is in which glass. All right, let's find it. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, Glass B is the Elijah Craig. And that means that Kentucky takes the win in this episode. Yeah, overall, these taste like premium single barrel bourbons. Really, they both just have, you know, really developed tasting profiles that transform over time. The second sip just kind of brings more complexity and the finish, you know, both really are, are pretty unique. But in the end, this battle gives Kentucky two wins and the USA zero. Next week, we'll be back with another challenge. Who's rooting for USA? Do you have a bottle you'd like us to include in the future versus battle? Let us know in the comments. And if you wanna see more Kentucky versus the USA, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the bourbon adventure with us. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy responsibly. Peace.